Hello everyone and welcome to TYG Talks, a new show we're going to be testing out here at TYG. I am Mashashi and I've got Scruff. Hello. And Blue. Hello, hello. And we just finished watching the first episode of Dragon Ball Diama. I've pronounced Dime. it. Dime. I pronounce that wrong every time. We're doing well. <laughs> <laughs> so... Right, obviously off the bat, we're all big Dragon Ball fans. Uh, we've all watched Z, Ball, GT, Super, and played games. So, first impressions. What did we think? I thought it was a pretty strong first episode, honestly. Uh, we got to have some really gorgeously reanimated scenes from... In, in particular, the, the Boo saga of Dragon Ball Z. And it looked fantastic. It set up for a good... It set up quite a good hook for who are these people? What, what what's, what's going to be going on here? Mm, it was really nostalgic, actually. So I the, the Boo series was the one I had on DVD. So I watched it to death and the scenes were pretty much like scene for scene and it, it really set the stage as well it wasn't just a case of like you know here's the characters and this is just throwing you in the time frame it actually like built up the before and like refreshed and yeah i think i think it was a really strong opening yeah in, in particular with the fact of yes it was like a recap but the way they did it was it was through the eyes of people who hadn't seen this before mm -hmm. um you know light spoilers the villains of the series are watching back the events of boo so we're watching their reactions as well as being refreshed on the major plot points of what happened during the boo arc uh which was quite a good way of catching people up to date with where, where we are in the story while mm. also introducing us to these new characters and their sort of shenanigans and personalities and, and such. It was quite neatly done. Scruff? Yes, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll agree with you that the animation looks lovely and it was nice to see a bit, a bit of the boo action again. However, I hated it. Really? I really? hated it with a passion. Um, I hated the villain. Uh, the the villain's um, lackey is brother of uh, Supreme Kai, who also has a sister. So it's Supreme Kai's brother. Sister. Is there a reason why they're brothers? Why do they have to be related? It, it's like you're shrinking the universe. The main villain, I absolutely hated. Why not just use? He was basically an Emperor Pilaf copy. He really yep. was. He yeah, really he was. was. Why bother? You have Emperor Pilaf there. Why? Oh. It, it was it was just frustrating to see that that they were retreading story. It, it it feels like they're retreading story beats for the sake of retreading story. Them uh, again, spoiler. They're making them kids to make them kids again. It's, it's like you're finding ways to contrive more story acts. Why can't we just leave Dragon Ball alone? Why it, it, it's okay to have an ending. It really is okay to have an ending to the to the story. Why must we feel like we have to drag more story out, which isn't more story? It's just thing. And they're changing rules again to fit. Oh look, we can undo Potara fusions there. Oh look, an elderly Namek can just summon the Dragon Balls. <laughs> so, Sorry, I, way. so that was the episode. Um, thank you all for joining us. Uh, we'll be back in the next TYG talks. Um, that was our time for today. <laughs> yeah. No, um, no counter argument there. I, I, I must admit, I agree with Scruff that King Goma is not. He's a very Dragon Ball villain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't mind that. I don't mind the drug. I do like that they were teasing that they are uh, that the uh, Namics are actual demons. Mm -hmm. I, I yeah, like they, that. They are right. A, 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 so this is also a very Toriyama because there's so many things about this which are very Toriyama. Mm -hmm. One of them is the fact of round ear, ningen, pointy ear, mm -hmm. margin or mm -hmm. demon or it, it's just like that's it. Mm -hmm. That that that's the distinction. Do they have round ears or do they have pointy ears? So mm -hmm. it means that Piccolo 
went from being the demon king Piccolo mm -hmm. to being a slug man mm -hmm. to being a demon slug man. <laughs> and honestly, I'm okay with that. And I think that Never is possibly one going to be one of those slow burn characters where, because he's insanely powerful, mm -hmm. he created what seems to be the very original Dragon Balls. However, that then also throws the Super Dragon Balls from Dragon Ball Super into question. Mm -hmm. And there's a quite a few things about this which do... Uh, people watching, this is my second time watching this. On the second watch through, there's definitely a few things I noticed a bit more. Where it makes me question where this sits. Because clearly it can't take place continuing on from Super. Because for one thing, uh, Trunks and Goten are too young. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's no pan yet or anything mm -hmm. like that. So this is this is directly after Boo. Mm -hmm. This is yeah, it's so directly after. Like this is in response to him them killing Boo. Mm -hmm. So yeah. like so timeline got... wise, it seems to be it goes Boo, Dima, Battle of Gods. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. However, uh, this one I'm getting at when Goku is suddenly like, right, Vegeta, want to go train? That's a very Dragon Ball Super thing. Mm -hmm. Like, yes. they didn't really have that relationship yeah, until at, at, Super. At this stage, Vegeta has acknowledged that Goku's stronger than him. Mm -hmm. Yes, but yeah, they Yeah, and he's have still that... going hard because yeah. he's still, like, a bit rivalry, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they aren't at that sort of, you know, we are training together, mm -hmm. camaraderie, rivalry mm -hmm. yeah, type there, thing. Yeah. yeah, they're not at that relationship no, no, yet plus, that they had in Super. Plus, G Goku's design is very slimmed down a la Super. It, mm -hmm. Yes, where they slimmed him down for his yeah, god form. Yeah. But that also quite a few people seem to be a bit slimmed down. Piccolo also seems to be mm -hmm. a little bit slimmed mm -hmm. down as mm -hmm. well. Vegeta seems a bit more lithe. That might just be more stylistic mm -hmm. choice for for Daima rather than mm. it, it, it relating to anything in particular. Yeah. But it's also the fact that they also bring up, uh, yeah, we're going to Universe 7. Yes. Mm -hmm. Whereas, so in theory, we'll have to see how this sort of pans out, but in theory, it makes sense for people from the demon realm to know that there are multiple universes in the mm. what they call the outside world. Yes. This is where Namekians come from. Some of them were just like, yeah, sod this, I'm out, and just escaped. That's where planet Namek comes from. And it also explains why they have Dragon Balls. Somebody decided to copy so, Never. So you're saying that um, the demon world are, are, are aware of uh, separate dimensions because they're outside the separate dimensions. Yes. So why isn't the Supreme Kai of Kai's outside separate dimensions? Well, it might be. No, because they... they, they they, he summons in the, whatever the future dimension thing is, and he doesn't know who Goku is. Mm -hmm. So it's obvious. Oh, <laughs> There's a lot of Toriyama forgot <laughs> all throughout Dragon Ball. R.I.P. Launch. So, what's that smell? Is that copium? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I think way. I think y'all are taking way too much seriously here. It's Dragon Ball, man. You're just supposed to enjoy the ride, like. Yeah, and that basically, yeah, and it sets up for a good, good ride to be had. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm here for the nostalgia. Um, I am gonna wait for a dubbed version, however, because I really do not get along with the this Japanese. And was it me, or service. was there a slight body horror ending to that? Yeah. Oh my! It was terrifying. Yeah. It's just like they are like being ripped apart as they're being churned into children. Yeah, mm. it was a bit grim. Yeah, very odd. I mean, that's a very existential horror, especially yeah. for like Trunks and Trunks and, and Goten, mm. who are yeah. now just going to be babies again. It's like, oh my god! Can yeah, you imagine because... being a toddler having to look after a baby? Yeah. And then trying to do your taxes. <laughs> I think Watching. it would have been a be better dynamic if, if the adults went young, that, that uh, Goten and uh, Trunks stayed the same age, but the, the adults, and so Goten and 
Trunks had to be the, 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 the quote unquote adults. Yeah, that I think that would have been a good. Me. But they wouldn't have been really any older than no. mm-hmm. than everyone shrunk down. So they would have been mm. at about the same sort. Yeah, of so level. I mean, the, I think that would have been a really good dynamic. You know, Trunks with his dad, you know, and they're both the same age. I think that would have been really good. Instead, no, they're going to be kid babies. It's like oh, that, that's some existential horror there. Mm. Now you see. Mm. There's a very good reason why I like the fact that they did that. I hate Trunks and Goten. Really? And I especially hate Gotenks. So if we could just write them out the story, I am okay with that. It also feels like they've written out because, oh, they're too powerful. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, we haven't seen Gohan yet. No. Because he's away studying, by the way. Uh, Yes, yes, he's away studying. Also, also, where does this... um... It said, uh, and friends, okay? So it said, uh, the people who defeated Boo and friends. How far is this going to reach? Are we going to see people like Nina and Launch appear in the series as, as toddlers? Are we going to see the, the, the little uh, Apache people who lived under Corrin's Tower? <laughs> I, I think it's only people who were in any way involved with the fight mm-hmm. with Boo. But also, it's things like, because Tien had a brief bout with Boo. Mm-hmm. Which a lot of people forget about. Yeah, T- Tien and so Chiaotzu is Tien a there. child? But then does it count Chiaotzu? Mm. However, I'm not going to say anything beyond because we see the broad scope of who gets turned into children in the second episode mm-hmm. at the very beginning. Um, where a lot of this is answered. And mm-hmm. we see in at the very end it says the episode title for episode 2 is Glorio. Yeah. We are going with just one word or very few word episode names for this, which I think is a great change rather than the existentially long names of all the previous (laughs) episodes in like Dragon Ball and Z and GT Mm -hmm. and in Super where it basically spells out the entire plot of the episode in the opening title. Yeah. They did, however, spoil about Glorio, though, because when the first episode came out, right as it aired, Bandai released a trailer showing that the first DLC character for Sparking Zero will be Glorio. <laughs> <laughs> which, which I assume is that character in the shadows. It is in indeed. The, yes. Let me guess, another brother or... Uh, well, he's got blue skin. So, All right. okay. uh, again, we find out more about him in episode 2, obviously. It's definitely an interesting one. You can feel a lot more of the Toriyama influence in this because of how closely related he was to the development of it. Even down to things like Shenron being very picky about the wish. Yeah. <laughs> That's a very Toriyama thing mm-hmm, to do. Mm-hmm. And it's definitely leaning more into the... It's not sci-fi, it's magic. Mm -hmm, Yeah. Calling back to the original Dragon Ball, where it was definitely a magical adventure. Yeah. So, I don't know. I'm interested to see where it goes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Me too. I mean, I I am am glad to see uh, Cell animation back again, rather than whatever they did with that um, what Beast Mode Gohan movie. Oh, Superhero. Yeah. Superhero is definitely like them... trialing some stuff mm. at Toei. Absolutely. Yeah. And, I mean, for the most part, it looked okay. Yeah. Uh, and I mean, with the way that they're doing the animation now, especially in that opening section, they could not have done that without computer-generated graphics. Mm-hmm. There's definitely some 3D, 2D in there. Like they've oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Um, like... I mean, Shenron, Shenron was definitely a mixture of both. Yeah, yeah. there was like the uh, the Demon Hunter kind of style uh, mm-hmm. camera pans. Like, mm-hmm. they're, they're definitely going somewhere with it, and I- I'm here for it. Yeah, overall, I think it looks very good. Music was okay. It's typical Dragon Ball anime, isn't it? Yeah. I, 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 I heard some... I heard some familiar bars, like, you know, I heard some familiar bars in there, but, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, I'm not sh- entirely sure who the composer is for this series, but um, it's it's fine. Like, mm-hmm. you know, there's nothing standout, for good or bad. I want them to bring back the uh, 
the Kami Dragon opening though from the the Cartoon Network vid- version. What? Dragon Ball Z. Like they the, need the, something the, like that. Like if they, the, if rock, they, the, the dragon, dragon rap. Yeah. 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 Rock the, rock the dragon, that's it. That was the uh, That was the ocean dope version, mm-hmm. I believe. Yeah. 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 That that's the one I grew up on. Yeah. Um, Not Chala, Hedchala. No. But I mean I did eventually get that version, but yeah. yeah. Um uh, yeah. I, I don't I'm I'm kind of excited to see where they take it. I'm always happy for more Dragon Ball, uh, regardless of its mm-hmm. Form, unless it's another Budokai where I play the exact same story over and over again. <laughs> um, but that's that's neither here nor there. So it, that's, that's, that's two yays and one nay on the round table. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we'll mm. give it a score or anything. No, like no, we will give it a score. This, th- this isn't I this think, show, no. I, I think that... I, I mean, I'm definitely going to be watching more. Absolutely. It's available on Crunchyroll, and then following the Crunchyroll release, it will come out on Netflix... I believe mm-hmm. the first episode is on Netflix now as well. Um, so it's very easy to watch. Uh, subbed only at the minute. No dub yet. No mm-hmm. news on when a dub is going to be out that I've seen so far. Yeah, I'll um, be waiting for the dub. because <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten used to the sub now after watching Super as it came out week by week. So I, I'm cool with it. And Vegeta's voice actor in Japanese doesn't it's so good. Mm. I yeah. might wait. I might wait for an arc and give it another shot. But well, I feel as though Daima is just going to be one story. Okay. Mm. Um, that's what I get the feeling of. Who knows? Mm. But I, I can't imagine it being more than a a single story arc. But probably less the length of the Dragon Ball Super story arcs. More like original Z story like OG or Z story arcs yeah. where you're talking like a hundred episodes for an arc mm. but telling a very fulfilling story how about just going back to Dragon Ball arc where it's like 9, nine or 13 episodes mm. I mean quite a few of them were like that although mm. then again well no because again people do separate the Saiyan arc from like the Namek arc yeah. and stuff mm-hmm. like that mm-hmm. so yeah. you know like You've got Garlic the Jr., the... Freezer, Cell, uh, Ga- Garlic Android. Jr. is not canon. Garlic Jr. had his own saga, though. <laughs> yeah, but it was it was filler. Yeah, was I filler. don't care. It still counts. <laughs> it was like 12 episodes. I, I like the, I like the arc the where... I like the arc where, where Goku and Piccolo go for their driving license. That's my favorite Yeah, that was arc. the best. That was the... <laughs> if anyone wants to learn how to do filler, just watch that episode and yeah. then go off. <laughs> Well then, so yeah, so, two, two, two yays and one nay. Uh, yeah, mm. I'm definitely up for more. So thank you everyone for joining us today. This has been a Dragon Ball uh, Di- Dima. 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 Yeah. Dima. I got it right this time. Yay! Um, this has been TYG Tops. If you've enjoyed our content, remember to like, comment, and sub- sub- subscribe. And if you've uh, made it this far in the video. Let us know which is your favourite Dragon Ball Z character, because or well, Dragon Ball character in general. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and let us know whether you're watching Daima or going to continue, or your your thoughts on Episode One, <laughs> and who do you agree with? Me and Blue, obviously. But until then, we'll be back next time. We'll see you all later, taters. Love you, bye. Love you, bye. Love you, bye.